Hurricane Hermine has brought flooding to the streets, and your air conditioning unit might be next. SNN's Nicole Somavilla has that story. Heavy rain, high winds, and flooding. That's what Hurricane Hermine brings to the Sun Coast. It's affecting the roads, but what about your air conditioning? Duffy Air Systems of Sarasota says new units built on four inch stone or wood are less likely to flood. But if your unit is installed right on the ground, you could be in trouble. Any system can be affected depending on where it's located, how it was installed, and the majority of the problems will be electrical related. How do you know if your AC unit has been hit by the storm? Well, for one thing, it's not going to be cooling and the uh, indoor fan will be blowing air, but it's going to be warm air. Another obvious sign. You could look out a window if you can, uh, walk out and see whether it's running, the fan is spinning. But don't try to drain the unit yourself. Leave it to the professionals. Many times they do more damage than they solve. Duffy Air Systems didn't get many service calls after Tropical Storm Colin. But if Ermine does flood your unit, call your air conditioning provider right away. The best thing to do is to shut it down. Find your breaker and turn off the switch that says compressor or air handler. And remember, FPL warns you not to go near any power lines knocked down by the storm. Reporting in Sarasota, Nicole Somavilla, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network. Sarasota's ACDC air conditioning is offering to help people with units submerged underwater and recover from the storm. They're offering 30% discounts on any needed parts.